Hello boys and girls, the new season in Dragonflight is going on, there's new dungeons in M+, there's new raids, so hopefully you're having fun with all that content. Yeah, some of this might need some tuning, etc, but uh, hopefully you manage to get some loot and you manage to earn some keys so you get some uh, value in your vault. Uh, keep in mind that you can craft an item with uh, a spark, so uh, you can have actually a second spark completed this week, so you can have two crafted items. And uh, doing dungeon 16 and above is going to give you aspect crests, which will allow you to not only upgrade gear, but also craft it at the highest possible level. If you can do 18s and above, that would actually grant you a piece of gear in the vault that's on the mythic part. And you can basically upgrade it as well at the highest possible level. And um, this week you can also run some tyrannical keys, since the affixes are tyrannical, entangling and bursting, which means that if you pushed high enough keys around the 15-16 mark last week for all dungeons, you can get 2k rating this um, week as well, which will give you a piece uh, or a token that you can convert into a tier piece as well. If you manage to get lucky a little bit last week in uh, rate, you can probably have 4 piece as well this week because the catalyst is also open and right now you have a charge and you get another next week. As for the affixes, this is probably one of the easier tyrannical weeks. Of course, be prepared for tyrannical boss fights. Some of them are going to be very hard because they're new to us. Mechanics are unfamiliar and people will struggle. But the rest and tangling, uh, just walk up out of the circle. If you have a talent that you can pick like Tiger's, Tiger's Lust or Bra Blessing of Freedom, you can get those to make it easier. And Bursting, just dispel that as a healer or use a defensive. Mass dispel if you have a priest. Um, the only, I guess, negative part is it will be harder for you to drink in between pools, but you can always dispel yourself and sit down for a drink. Again, probably one of the easier Tyrannical weeks. So uh, hopefully you manage to push some keys uh, high enough uh, as well. And uh, LFR is also open. You can get some tier from there, etc. Uh, so good luck on that. Let me open vote on some of the tunes that I played. Uh, my pally managed to do some 16s. Apparently I'm getting a lot of rings. Um, which is not bad. And we get a head item. I think they're all on the hero part. Yeah. So uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with the tier piece. Uh, because I can uh, easily get more uh, through the catalyst. Maybe I won't be able to push uh, 2k rating on my pally because I didn't play it that much last week. I was focused on the shaman, the monk and uh, in fact I actually played a lot of uh, other oats. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, as long as you're having fun etc. That's the most important part. You will get here, you will get here eventually. So uh, nothing to worry about that early in the season. Um, okay, so I'm gonna open my Monk and my Shaman as well uh, for this video. If you're interested to see what pops up uh, out of the vault and what kind of decisions uh, people will be faced with. Uh, as I said, I did play many other odds, but they are lower item level, uh, etc. And uh, probably I don't have that many vault slots open on them as well. One thing to mention, if your character is below 445 as item level, you can still go do some of the events in the new Emerald Zone uh, Dream because uh, Emerald Dream Zone because uh, you can get some uh, items there up to like 450. Uh, so that would be uh, a nice boost for your oats. Ooh, we got a sea star, which is not the trinket I'm looking for. Let's check the rest. Uh, this is the Ashes of Ember so. Um, so this one I think is the, oh, it's not the one that you have to heal. Let me check the rest first. So we got a finger. So I basically have to pick between the two trinkets. Uh, haste is not bad for a monk, but this one, you know, you, you're losing some stats, um, after you use it. So I don't think this one is high enough. I'm pretty sure I'll be picking the C star, but... I will do a little bit of research before I do that. Um, in general, I think this trinket doesn't scale very well just because you're losing stats, etc. So, um, and, and you don't have a main stat um, right off the bat. You're getting the stat on uh, on use effect uh, and then you're losing hates. So uh, this is very, very sketchy, very tricky, uh, tricky trinket. 
Uh, this one also doesn't have main stat, but it's a verse, and then you get flat into like 15 seconds once you use it. So it's not bad at all. Pretty sure I'm gonna stick with the C star, but again, I'll do a little bit of research before uh, I make this choice. Uh, it's nice to see some trinkets pop up, because uh, last season I had a lot of problems and troubles getting the correct trinkets. And last but not least, uh, I played the most on my Shaman. I hope I cracked it in front of the vote, so uh, you don't have to watch me go there right now. But I think I managed to finish uh, 018, so I should be getting a piece of gear that's on the Mythic path, um, path which is what we want. Uh, I also did some uh, raid bosses though, and uh, I hope I don't get something biz there, which is going to be lower item level. Um, let's open as restoration. Always check your spec, because you don't want to open in the wrong um, spec and get a item that you cannot use. So let's see, we got a head here. Uh, oh, we got a chest. Okay. Uh, we got a chest, which is a tier piece. So that will be some hard choices to make. Uh, this, of course, is even on the champion pad. It's not on the hero, so it's low item level. Uh, oh, there we go. We got a shoulder. The bad part is I already have shoulders because I got lucky in, I think it was um, LFR. So this is not going to give me additional tier piece. Uh, but it will be a piece on the mythic part. So I can later upgrade this to like 4... I'm not sure how high it goes. 490 something? 491? Um, we don't care about the belt, we don't care about the boots because I think I'll be crafting piece of uh, gear on the boot slot. So the question is, do I want to take the chest and have two piece, potentially easy four piece because uh, I'll be able to convert one with the tier and get to 2k IO rating easily. Or do I get the shoulders and then just wait for the four piece uh, for another week because next week you get another catalyst charge so that would be uh, pretty easy to do. I think I'll get the shoulders because uh, there's not many options to get mythic uh, level gear on the mythic part and uh, I'll just wait uh, an extra week for uh, to complete my four piece tier set. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do that. Uh, actually let's go and do it right now. Um, hopefully you have better luck on, on your vote or I should say uh, less uh, choices that you have to deal with potentially. Uh, they should be easier for you. If not, you can always sim and you can always research what's best for you. All right, good luck on the tyrannical keys in the weeks that's coming and check my uh, YouTube channel because I have a restoration shaman guide coming up right there and some other additional videos which uh, hopefully will be helpful to you in the coming weeks. See you in the next video. Until then, take care and wherever you are, be there.